in this county, we've got world-class recreational values, world-class wildlife, um, and at the same time we have world-class minerals, world-class energy resources. And trying to balance the two has been the biggest problem. Rancher Freddie Botura drives across his 80,000 acres of Wyoming land, his sheepdog Miso keeping a watch out for rabbits. For years, his only neighbors were golden eagles, antelope, and deer. But a new neighbor has moved in, the natural gas industry. Well, we've drilled just over 700 wells in Kanahaz in, in this field. The U.S.'s skyrocketing gas prices and a drive to become more energy independent has led major companies like Encana, Shell, and BP to drill enough natural gas from almost every county in the state last year to heat 27 million homes across the nation for a year. This has created a boom in money for education, fancy new buildings and jobs. Levi Licking, a father of two, has worked in the gas fields for years. If this went in oil field when it came in here, I'd had to move somewhere else to find work. While the natural gas industry has pumped millions of dollars into Wyoming, many people worry that the drilling is permanently scarring the land and harming wildlife. Can you see her? Wildlife Thank biologist you. Brian Rutledge and others say she the drilling is something. placing Wyoming's first natural resource, its wildlife, in jeopardy. We're talking about the true Western heritage, what we present as ourselves when we look at Yellowstone, that's how we see America, and we could lose all of that. Recent studies have shown the sage grouse and mule deer are in jeopardy. Grouse, a vital harbinger of other wildlife, is down by as much as 80 percent, and mule deer populations have been nearly cut in half, all attributed to the frenetic right pace of drilling. Jeff Johnson of Encana Oil and Gas says gas companies are spending money to repair the damage they do, like replanting sagebrush, which is food for animals. Our goal is about five to six hundred acres per year, and uh, we're drilling 150 wells, which will do just about that same 500 acres of disturbance. But many worry that might not be good enough. This is a brittle landscape. I mean, we still have wagon wheel ruts out here, <laughs> you know, from the Oregon Trail. <laughs> you know, they haven't gone away. Um, and so once you do something on this land, it's pretty much there for a really long time. Ashley Fonts, CNN, Pinedale, Wyoming.